Hey guys, I'm back with a what's in my bag video. I haven't done one of these in a little bit. Is that a lie? Hmm. Anyway, I got a new bag from Matt and Nat. I do have the um, Zam Weekender, which was in last week's Fashion Friday video. Um, I will link that below, but I got a handbag from them. A lot of you have been telling me for years, like, you should check out Matt and Nat. And I'd known of Matt and Nat for a really long time, like, from when I lived in England still. And I just never really liked the style. So I kind of, like, brushed it off when people would recommend them. So I'd be like, yeah, I know, but I didn't really like them. Um, but then I actually bothered to look and realize that I'm sort of obsessed with most of what they have now. So I went for the L in nude whatever color this is i will have it linked below um and first of all i'm just going to show you a little bit of the kind of unboxing i guess because some people are interested in that especially when it's a slightly higher price item so i'm just going to go ahead and show you how it arrived and some close-ups of it actually in it now so I have had it for a couple days now so I've had a little bit of a chance to kind of play around with what I want to put where but I'm sure it will still change so I did just want to mention that I thought that the strap was adjustable I don't know why I thought that but it's not so um it is a fairly long strap so that just might be something to keep in mind but I will also show it on um, my body so you can reference that too. Um, but if you don't like super long straps or wearing a crossbody, then that might be something to think about if you are considering getting this bag. It does have this front kind of pocket, which I don't have anything in yet, but I think I would probably just slip like, I don't know, love notes, things like that in there. On the inside of the bag, what's interesting is that this um, flap is very short and then it just is magnetized to the back of this flap so it does close it's just kind of an interesting design because you usually it would come the whole way over but it just slips in and is stuck to that front piece so i think after a bit of use this will probably get softer too so it will um, maybe kind of flop back but so in the front pouch we'll do that one first i have some sunglasses these are from zero uv i think so they're like really super duper cheap ones. I used to really like designer sunglasses but I always lose or break them so I went with these. If I can find them on their website I will link them below but yeah I just like them. Um, I used to think that I couldn't wear like aviator style glasses because of my giant face but then I realized I just didn't care so I've got those in there. And then I have two other things in here. So the first one is my um, little card wallet. This is from Free People, and I don't think they have this design anymore with the little cactuses on it, but um, if they have something similar, I will link it down there too. And then I just have my um, keys attached to it too. And then the last thing in the front pouch is this little Energize aromatherapy oil blend that my friend Claire made me. So nice. I think it's mostly like orangey essential oils in here. I'm not sure, but it's really kind of like fresh and wakes you up. So I just slot that in the front. And then if I'm feeling kind of like meh, then I just um, roll a little bit on my hands or something and take a deep whiff. So that's all that's in that front pouch. And it is kind of like a dark, I'm gonna call it dusty teal lining. So, and then we have the zip pouch here which I couldn't really 
decide what I wanted to put in this but I knew I wanted to put my phone in there because it does have a little phone pocket in the front here so I've got my iPhone 6 plus usually I would have a charging pack in there too but I'm just realizing that although my charging pack I already have is awesome and you can charge your phone like three times on it always works and holds a lot of charge it is huge and it's thick and it's annoying so um i have seen some super thin ones almost like the thickness of the phone so if you have a battery pack or whatever that you really like to use then do let me know i mean i have seen that there's ones that kind of have a like maybe the cord isn't retractable but it like slots into the pack so it's like sleek i just hit myself in the face so if you have a battery pack that you really like that is thin but still like, you know, trustworthy and lasts a really long time, then do let me know. And then the only other things in this zip section are my Valfrey Vagenda. This is just where I keep all of my things I'm going to post on my blog or channel and just kind of ideas and um, deadlines of when I need to post stuff. So I have that in there. And then I have my mechanical pencil because I've got commitment issues, so I prefer pencil. That's a funny thing to say for someone who's been married for almost 10 years, isn't it? Ink commitment issues, let's say that doesn't work either, does it? Writing commitment issues. And then the back pouch, I just have kind of some little bits and pieces for touch-ups. So I have this mini dry bar hairbrush, which has like been a little bit crushed in there. I really like it, combs through my hair easily. It's cute, you can always find it because it's bright yellow. Um, I think this, I got this in a kit a really long time ago, so I don't remember what other minis were in it, but if I can find a kit with this in that only has vegan items, then I'll link that below, um, because I like this little guy. Oh, and I also have a blog review on a lot of their, um, styling tools, so I'll link that below too if you're interested. And then the next thing back here I have are some floss sachets. I have a really hard time saying that. So um, I think I've probably mentioned these before in a what's in my bag, but they're just little um, sachets like this. And then when you tear them apart, there's um, floss kind of like woven through there. So it's just, you know, easy because you've got something to hold on to on either side. So little um, floss sachets. I also have a um, hand balm. This one is from Southern Comforts in the scent Mama Tried. It's just a really nice one, it smells nice so you kind of feel like fresh and pepped up when you use it. And then I have a perfume from Harvey Prince. This is one of their single scents, so this is Clean Musk. Some people don't like musk, do they? But I find it to be quite like fresh and non-offensive. It smells a little bit powdery, like I think it smells like a sexy grandma. I don't know how to word that. Not that there's anything wrong with non-sexy grandmas, but it smells like a sexy grandma. I have lip gloss in here. This is the Youngblood one in Revealed. It's very kind of like glittery, but when you put it on, it just looks super shiny instead. So um, I like it for that if you just want to like get some glossy lips. Um, and then I have my tiny um, nail file. This is a Diamond Cell one. Um, when I used the big one in a nail video not that long ago, a lot of people were like, oh my god, you shouldn't use metal files. You should use... Um, glass ones, but I hate the feeling of glass files and this is made up of like crushed diamonds I guess probably just glass um, So it's not really a metal file. It does have like Some kind of diamondy glass texture on there really like that one and then I have my Charlotte Tilbury bronze and glow palette It's just really easy to use nice big mirror in it it looks chic AF, so yeah, really like this. And then I have a little hourglass brush to apply that with. Um, but sometimes I just use it by itself, and um, if I'm a bit greasy or looking a bit cakey, I might just like blend it out with a brush. So it does come in this little pouch, which usually I think is pointless, but I actually kind of like it for this. So that is it. There is also a zip pouch in the back, which I might throw a tampon in but right now there's nothing else in there. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It is a new bag to me and I'm pretty excited about it because I used to love designer bags, um, but since I've stopped buying leather, I have had a lot of really nice bags that I'd love, but I feel like this is like the step up, you know, like um, kind of like designer and I really like it. I tried to go for something that was a classic design, but still different for me. So 
Um, I don't have any other bags in this color, I don't think. That bag's not the same color. So yeah, I'm really impressed with it so far. I do love their Zam Weekender, and I think this is just as well made. So um, I'm super excited to get some use out of this one. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. As always, let me know what you want to see next. Subscribe to my blog if you're interested. Um, add me on all of these social medias. And I will see you next time. Bye.